everyone what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i wanted to do a little sunday reset vlog today i haven't done one of these in so long and i have a love-hate relationship with sundays which i feel like most people do who work like a traditional monday to friday job love them because of like the vibe that sunday has it's just like you're getting your stuff together like you've had your fun for the weekend usually and it's i like to just have a very thorough balance of like getting things done but also recharging myself for the week ahead and doing things that give me energy and really just make me feel better and i like to get out and do things on sundays but i also like to just like prepare my environment for the week ahead so that's what we're going to be doing in this vlog i'm super excited because i haven't done one in a while but if you're new here be sure to subscribe and follow me on my social media link down below it is about 10 15 ish i just got home from taking a on a walk and i went to the car wash and i have been meaning to do that for a while but i got some coffee took ella on a nice walk we didn't do like too long of a walk just because it is so hot and i wanted to try and do it um before it got really hot today but it was just so hot so i was like i don't want to overdo it with her because i know it's really dangerous but it's so nice because i carry this little collapsible water bowl with me and i always bring like a big thing of water so that i can give it to her um and it's just really nice to have and i got from amazon but yeah we got her walk done and she's gonna be nice and tired and kind of just doing a lot of things like laundry and all that stuff today um i started some laundry before i left but i'm about to like switch some things over and then i'm gonna go run some errands so i'll just bring y'all along with me for that hopefully it inspires you to have a very relaxing restful but also slightly productive sunday when you plan to do your next sunday reset so let's get started I need you Cause you're my home away from home away from home away from being alone For my outfit today, I just did my Lulu belt everywhere belt bag, plain black one. For my dress, this is the Outdoor Voices exercise dress. I just have it in white in a size small. I wanted this for like over a year, but I just like kept putting it off because I don't want to spend $100 on it. But I finally did it because I could finally try one on in store because I went to an Outdoor Voices actual store last weekend in the Heights. Um, so I was able to try it on and I was like, wow, I love this. And I love that the shorts like actually fit because normally they're too tight when there are shorts under anything. So I love that. And I just think it's like super breathable, perfect for summer. And then these hokas, which I also just recently got. I wanted a white athletic sneaker really badly because I just have my on clouds, which I love, but they're gray. I wanted a white pair that would look good with like my running shorts, leggings, and just more active things like that. And um, that would be good for walking because I really like having a white sneaker like for casual wear, but also, also for athletic wear. So this is one I got for more athletic wear but I really like it. I was gonna get the all white, but they didn't have it in stock, so I ended up just getting these because they're white with some color, and I actually just got coffee on them, and I'm noticing that. This is like the third time I've gotten coffee on the toe of my tennis shoes, because um, it dripped when I was walking Ella, so I'm gonna have to go clean that really quickly. just got back home and I went into Anthropology Lululemon and Central Market. I've never, I've been in Central Market in Austin before, but I've never been in one in Houston. And I was going there specifically to get Oat House granola butter. I don't know if y'all have heard of that before, but I really, really have been dying to try it. And I did the store locator on their website and saw that it was only available at the Central Market here in Houston. And that was like the only store in Houston that has it or said they had it. Um, so I go there and they don't have it. And I'm like, this is the whole reason I came here. I just didn't want to pay for shipping for a granola butter. I don't know, but they didn't have it. So at least I didn't find it. And I looked over the whole store. Central Market's layout is really weird. It takes you like a lot longer to get through the store. I feel like than other stores, I mean, it's a really nice experience, but it's crazy. Cause it's just very like maze like, and not like a normal grocery store. Um, and I got a few things in there and I'll do like a little grocery haul, but then I went to Trader Joe's right after that and just grabbed a few more things. Um, my grocery shopping was very unsuccessful today. I was trying to get things to make a recipe tonight. Trader Joe's didn't have green onions or frozen edamame, which I feel like they always have. And maybe they don't always have green onions, but I was so confused and I should have gotten them at 
Central Market, but I figured Trader Joe's would have them and they didn't. So um, I did get some other stuff though, but didn't do like a full grocery trip. I typically go grocery shopping on Mondays and Tuesday, Mondays or Tuesdays and do a curbside order at HEB. But we are going out of town on Friday and our HelloFresh, I moved up a day to come tomorrow on Monday instead. So we will just have the HelloFresh Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday night, we'll probably get something quick um, out. And then tonight I'll cook, but I wanted to just get the few things that we would need this week. So not a full grocery haul at all. And I didn't buy anything in Lululemon or Anthropology. So I'm really proud of myself. Anthropology was doing 40% off everything that was on sale. And there were a few like home things that I really liked, but I didn't really know where I'd put them. So I was like, I'm not gonna buy them if I don't have a place for them. And I was gonna get a candle, but I was like, eh, I have candles. And Lululemon, there was stuff that I liked, but they didn't have it in my size. So that just like worked out nicely to where I didn't buy anything. Um, and I tried on the soft stream, like cropped length pants and they are so flipping. They're probably the softest pants I felt in my entire life. And I was gonna buy a pair if they have my size and if I liked them, I tried them on. They were not flattering on me in the slightest. I wanna try on the joggers that they had there, but I didn't try them on. I was like, eh, whatever. I'll figure that out another day. Um, Cause I didn't really feel like going back in the dressing rooms. The ones I tried on, I don't remember if I got a video clip of them, but I was like, this is so flattering. Like you could see, I when I tried them on, I was like, this was just not flattering, but they are really soft. So I just wanted to try those on, but let's go inside and I'll give you all a quick little grocery haul. Home. I'm gonna give y'all the very quick grocery haul. Um, I got these organic roasted teriyaki seaweed snacks from Trader Joe's. I got this for dinner tonight and unfortunately you can only get these giant packs. I don't like the regular seaweed, but I figured this teriyaki one might would be good. I got some almond milk, bananas since neither Central Market or um, Trader Joe's sells frozen bananas. Two more bags of these truffle almonds that I'm obsessed with. Um, just some creamy peanut butter because I'm gonna make those like um, oat, peanut butter, honey, cinnamon, dark chocolate chip, little energy bite protein balls. I just think they'll be good to have this week because I think it's gonna be a busy week, so it'll be good, something good to just like have as something quick to grab and go. <laughs> then one more thing of the brown sugar oat milk creamer from Central Market. I just got two of these because Griffin likes these for his smoothies, the strawberries and bananas frozen. I was chicken, um, which I was going, I wasn't planning on buying pre-marinated chicken, but they only had at Central Market the air chilled chicken breasts, like in the uh, packs of multiple things of chicken. And I've tried it before and I hated the air chilled chicken. It tasted so chickeny and <laughs> I did not like it. So I was like, I'm not getting that. Um, and I guess I could have gotten some at Trader Joe's, but I don't know. I can't remember if I like Trader Joe's chicken or not. I'm just really picky with it. And I honestly just don't cook chicken that often, but I'm gonna be making a half baked harvest like chicken katsu recipe. And I don't know. I don't have all the stuff for it since Trader Joe's didn't have that edamame or the um, green onions and I didn't get them at Central Market since I thought Trader Joe's would have them. But this is the orange honey habanero. I figured this would go good with the katsu vibe of the bowl. Um, so I got that because I was like, this will probably be better. And I didn't want to buy like a whole pack of chicken anyways because I just never cook it. I got some breadcrumbs for that recipe tonight. Super excited about this. I haven't had a Hue bar in forever. Um, I love these, just putting them in the fridge. And the cashew butter and pure vanilla bean. And then I got the cashew butter with orange vanilla dark chocolate. And I'm so excited to try this one with orange vanilla. I feel like it's gonna be so good. I should have just gotten dark chocolate chips at Trader Joe's because I got these dark chocolate Lily's ones for the little energy bites. Then I got this baby spinach and baby kale mix for salad. And I also bought these from Trader Joe's. I haven't tried them before. The Cacio y pepe, <laughs> cheese and pepper corn and rice snacks. They're pretty good. Definitely a weird, I'm not a big fan of like pepper. I don't like a lot of pepper on stuff and I don't know. They just, I was intrigued by them in the checkout line. So I got them.
So I ate my lunch and I took out on a walk, quick walk and just kind of straightened up a few things, but switched over some laundry. I have a ginormous basket of laundry to fold when I get back from the pool. I just said basket of laundry, but I'm gonna go to the pool for a little bit and read. This vlog I feel like is very representative of my weekends, except for the shopping I did earlier. I don't normally go in like store, retail stores like ever. Um, I was just kind of in the mood to do it, so that's why I did it. But I feel like on the weekends, it's very heavily consumed with like doing one thing social, which I went out Friday night and Saturday and Sunday are like a mix of work and rest and preparing for the next week. Yesterday, I got most of my editing done for a video, but I already have this week's video ready to go up. Um, so I'll probably finish that up uh, this week so I don't have to worry about it and I'll have my videos for the next two weeks ready to go. And my podcast is already scheduled, I believe, um, because I'm a week ahead with my podcast recordings right now because of going out of town, I wanted to be ahead. I'll have a little bit of work, like very small amount of YouTube and podcast work to do when I get back. And I pretty much go to the pool every weekend during the summer too, whether it's on Saturday or Sunday. I went yesterday for a little bit and I did read. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing today. I have this Free People shirt on right now as a cover up. Um, just to go. It's from the Hot Shot set. Um, it comes with biker shorts too, and I'm just wearing my cute little Abercrombie pink gingham swimsuit. I wear this one all the time because it doesn't give bad tan lines, so I really like it. Normally, I take a kombucha out there with me to drink, but it's just so hot that it gets the kombucha gets really hot in like 10 minutes. So I'm just finishing up mine that I had with lunch. Refill my iced water. Take that with me. Take my outdoor voices little bag and this towel that I used yesterday because I didn't like really, I didn't go under yesterday so my towel was like basically dry. Um, but today I will definitely be swimming <laughs> and getting my hair wet because um, it needs to be washed anyways. I already put on sunscreen in here. I used my Pacifica um, C and C sheer sunscreen. This is so good, I love the smell of it and it just works really well. I am going to take my Kindle. I'm almost done with Archer's voice. It's really good. It was a bit spicier than I was expecting, but it's really good. I do like it a lot. Um, and I recently got a pop socket for my Kindle. I think I mentioned that in a previous vlog, but it's a game changer. It makes it way more comfortable to hold the Kindle. I'm switching my glasses to my prescription sunglasses from glassesusa.com. I love these. I love having prescription sunglasses. Such a game changer. I know these have tint in them, but these are like more of a like true sunglass. And then just going to take the last bit of these almonds with me in case I want a snack. I'm not really hungry though at all, so. Probably won't need that, but let's go get our sun on. <laughs> Finally going through his t-shirts and his socks. He had so many socks and so many t-shirts. But he wears the same like three all the time. But it, I, and I've told him for the long time, like you need to go through your stuff because like you don't wear a lot of them and a lot of them don't fit you. And now he finally is. But we tagged him the laundry and now it is time to make dinner. But I finished Archer's voice while I was at the pool. I was out there for about two hours, but I wanted to make it back up here by five because I that's when the spin um, class schedule drops. And there's a Drake versus Rihanna ride on Thursday and I knew it would book really quick. So I wanted to like know I have my Wi-Fi connection and everything and just be ready to book it and I was able to book it. So I'm so excited for that. But I finished Archer's voice. I literally like started crying at the pool and I was like, thank God I have sunglasses on right now. Um, Cause I wasn't expecting it to like make me cry. And it's funny cause like I really like love the book and I was really enjoying it. But I kind of just felt like it was four stars like as I was getting towards the end of it. And then after the whole ending and epilogue, I was like, nope, it's five stars for me. So it was so good. It was an emotional roller coaster. It literally like breaks your heart in the end and then it puts it back together. And it's just like so many emotions all at once. Definitely recommend, um, but it was really good. So I'm going to make this half-baked harvest recipe, but kind of like my own rendition of it because um, I just typed in half-baked harvest. That's definitely not what it, the website is. I'm making this um, chicken katsu bowl recipe from half-baked harvest, but I don't have a lot of the stuff as I already told y'all, so.
dinner was good, but I have to say, um, I know I haven't talked about my caraway set really since I got it, but I am just like so head over heels for all of it. And like the breading on that chicken was like so hardened in this pan. And literally I barely even touched it with a sponge and it just like comes right off. The non-stickness of it is so good. And I mean, I use it every day almost and it's so good. My parents actually ended up getting a set and they called me the other day and were like, we literally love the set so much. Um, and I'm really glad they love it because it's definitely like an investment to get like a really good cookware set. So I'll leave my link that gets you 10% off below. I think it should still work. I'll have to ask um, and see, but I'll at least just leave the link down below if you guys want to check it out. But seriously, can't recommend the set enough. And it's also just really pretty. Um, the cleaning is just so easy. I used to sit at the sink and like scrub for so long. And it's just literally takes me no time to clean pots and pans now and it's the best thing ever because it saves so much time this isn't sponsored i just needed to update you guys on how much i love it Hello everyone from bed. It's like 10.30, gonna be going to bed here. Oh, <laughs> I didn't hear the beep, so I was like, oh. yo, you're just like practicing. <laughs> um, I'm getting ready to go to sleep. Um, I'm gonna read some, but I finished up some last minute things on my computer. Um, I finished my YouTube video. I'm waiting to see if I get some product in for a brand so I can film a sponsorship integration and put it in that video. But I have the video ready to go if I end up wanting to put it up this week. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have my CPA video go live this week or the vlog. It depends on the timeline for the brand and when I get product in. So I did finish editing that. I just had to add like music in and the end screen. And then I made my Instagram podcast or my podcast Instagram post for the week on Canva. And I didn't end up planning my podcast for next week, which I do need to do this week. Um, I originally wanted to have it recorded this week as well, like before Thursday night, but that's not really sounding realistic with planning it and recording it, unless like I just get really creative tomorrow night and get in that mood. But then I'm gonna have to record the week after that podcast within like three days of that because of going out of town again so it's probably better if i get it done monday through wednesday this week so maybe i'll just get up early and plan it one day and then record it after work or something i don't know but i am not going to start a new book i'm just going to keep reading 101 essays it'll change the way you think i'm in the mood to keep reading i've been reading a lot of like romance novels and things like that lately because i feel like they're just such a good escape from reality and i like reading that by the pool but i really like reading 101 essays it'll change the way you think before bed because it's not necessarily a book that i'm going to want to stay up to keep reading um and I haven't like picked it up in a few weeks. So I wanna keep reading it because I think it's really good for me to read on Sundays because it is just such a good way to just kind of get my head right in the right space. Um, Cause it really just helps my emotional and mental health in my opinion, reading it or at least it makes me become a lot more aware of certain things. So I'm just gonna read a few chapters of this and then go to bed, I'm trying to decide if I wanna go to like a 30 minute spin class in the morning um, at like seven. I was gonna try to do Pilates in the morning, but they don't have a class till 8.30, so it's not gonna work. Um, or if I just wanna do Pilates tomorrow evening or spend tomorrow evening. I know I'm gonna be starting my period soon, so I feel like this week I should only do like one spin class since it's more intense, but I don't know. We'll figure it all out. Um, I got the duvet cover on and the fresh sheets on, so feeling great. I tidied up a little bit after dinner and um, just tried to do something that my future self tomorrow would thank me for. But I am so tired from being in the sun and everything today. So 
but it's been quite the productive day and a little bit of exercise in so feeling good but um i love you guys thank you so much for watching this little sunday reset be sure to subscribe if you aren't already turn on post notifications check out my podcast and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you all in my next video